Okay, so we're back with Electricity from the Sun, our shared reading. And um, we're going to be talking about what is the relationship between solar cells, solar panels, and solar arrays. Use details from the passage, which is another word for the story, to support your answer. So remember, it's always important to know what you're listening for while you're reading or while you're listening to a story again. And then the next thing we're going to be listening for is what are three benefits of using solar energy? Use details from the passage to support your answer, okay? So what's the relationship between the three to these three things, solar cells, solar panels, and solar arrays? And this details part is important. It doesn't, it, it, you have to go back and think of examples from the story. And also three benefits of using solar energy. So let's, let's listen again. Electricity from the sun. The sun has always been a source of energy for people. Back in ancient times, people learned how to work with sunlight. For example, they used mirrors to focus sunlight and give off heat. Today, people can turn sunlight or solar energy into electricity. Then it is called solar power. One device people use to produce solar power is a solar panel. What are solar panels? Have you ever seen a lot of big shiny rectangles on a rooftop? Those are solar panels. They are officially known as photovoltaic or PV, solar panels. The root photo means light, voltaic refers to electricity. PV solar panels are made up of solar cells. One solar cell can produce a little bit of power out of the sun but one solar panel can produce much more power. Solar panels can produce a lot of electricity for a home or business. They might even produce all the electric power a family needs. That can help save people money. What happens when you put many solar panels together? They form what is called a solar array. Solar power plants put together many solar arrays. They can make electricity for thousands of homes. So I think I'm going to pause here, and I know this is the answer to one. I think I'll pause and then head over that way, and then we'll come back and finish reading the rest. So that was still fresh in my brain. I knew I had just read about the answer, and I formed kind of a thought in my head. So it says, what is the relationship between solar cells, solar panels, and solar arrays? Use details from the passage to support your answer. While a solar cell is small and can create a little bit of power, a solar panel is made up of many solar cells. A solar panel can make more power than a solar cell. A solar array is made up of many solar panels together. A solar array can make even more power. So solar cell is a small one. The solar panel is made up of these many solar cells, so it's a little bigger. And then the solar array is made up of many solar panels, which are also made up of lots of solar cells. So let's go back to the article. And this time we're going to be listening for what are three benefits of using solar energy. Use details from the passage. What are the benefits of solar energy? Some types of energy cause pollution. Other types of energy rely on chemicals that can be dangerous if they leak into the air or water. Solar energy is natural, it does not pollute the air. Solar energy is also reliable. Solar panels continue to work even on cloudy days. They just don't take in as much energy. Electricity from solar energy is also stored. A home only uses what it needs and can draw on the storage when necessary. In big storms, electric companies often experience outages. Poles and wires may go down some people may not have electricity for days or longer, but people who have solar panels may still be able to have electricity. Because of this, some towns have installed solar panels on their electrical poles. Okay, what are three benefits of using solar energy? Use details from the passage to support your answer. Well, number one, solar energy is better for the environment because it does not pollute the air. That's a benefit. Number two, solar energy is reliable. Solar panels work even on cloudy days. And number three, extra solar energy can be stored to be used later. During storms and power outages, houses with solar panels may still have electricity. So 
So it sounds pretty good to me. I think I'm sold. 